Welcome to Knopf Pro Performance Tips. I'm Max Lab, and today we're going to look at how to improve your performance with a two racks build when playing against Zerg. First, let's take a look at a couple different openings to this build. Pros usually get both barracks around 11 or 12 supply, but occasionally you'll see someone get a second barracks as late as 14 supply. The faster you get your barracks up, the stronger your initial push will be, but the more damage you will need to do. Barracks placements range as well. The further away from your base your barracks are, the stronger the attack will be, the longer it will take to retreat. Your next decision will be how many SCVs to pull in support of your push. Always bring at least the two SCVs to build the barracks, so you can threaten with the possibility of bunkers. This will force the Zerg to come out and fight you off creep at a location further from the rally point. You can also pull additional SCVs as you see a live do against Jadon. In this case, because the live is looking to directly engage the Zerking drone army, he pulls about half a dozen SCVs. This gives him enough SCVs to act as a buffer for his marines, so that he can score the drone kills needed to compensate for the SCV losses. Ideally, make sure the SCVs tank damage before the marines, as we see here with Alive vs. Salty. Select chooses to use the less aggressive option against Sulky. He only pressures with the two SCVs that built the barracks, along with one spare. In this case, while you do still want to grab a few drone kills, avoid directly engaging a large number of them. Remember, your main goal is to make sure the Zerg is not able to produce more drones. This is best done by maintaining a strong marine count. With only a single drone kill, Select is still in a great position. His attack delayed mining, forced out two spines, and made Sulky create a large number of Zergins. When playing against Rhett, Baby constructs a bunker just far enough from the hatchery so that the Zerg has a difficult time preventing its construction. However, it's close enough to provide a retreat path for Baby's Marines when they need to seek cover from the Zerg Swarm. This is a great way to maintain your Marine count without having to use SCVs to protect it. When going for this bunker rush, Zergs will sometimes try to stop you with drones only. You can see Select encountered this move in this match against Action. This response gives you an opening to grab several drone kills before the Zergings come ruined to fun. It hurts their economy enough so that it's okay to not get the bunker up. Every once in a while, a Zerg play will not feel confident in holding your two racks and just give up their natural. This will happen most often when the Zerg opens with fast gas and has one less drone to fight with. In this case, if the map allows for it, make sure to fully wall off the Zerg's natural so run bites aren't an option. At this point you are significantly ahead. Just be sure to get your barracks back to your base and form a wall that can withstand a banning all in. For a quick recap, remember the goal of your push. If you pull many SCVs, be sure to get many drone kills. If you only pull a few, be sure to maintain your marine count to force the Zerg to invest in Zerglings and spine crawlers. For the Zergs in the audience, be sure to check out the upcoming NOS Pro Performance tip on the Zerg side of handling the two racks rush. This has been Axlev with your NOS Pro Performance tip. For more content, head over to www.majorleaguegaming.com/nos.